Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the uh, Western Centurion channel and another Sunday and today is the 4th of September and um, this video is all going to be about the inclines and the calculations on how to make the inclines or how to get the correct slope for the inclines on the space and the height that we have. Um, now I was never good at mathematics, um, in fact um, I think I was in the arithmetic class at school which is pretty much the, in our days, was the remedial classes because uh, I was absolutely naff at it and I think I even failed that when I left school so I didn't even get a CSC in it. But um, <laughs> as you go through life you work and you get different jobs and uh, I think I might have improved a little bit with a little bit of help from the internet as well. So um, yeah, I think I've come pretty pretty good on it in the end from um, what my teacher said, that I would never make it in life. But I am now, um, shall we say, a manufacturing quality engineer. And as an engineer, you need to know your mathematics. But anyway, so yes. I have done quite a bit in the garage. I've taken out the old incline. Uh, do you remember in my last video I said I was going to put two inclines in. There's going to be a downline and an upline. But, uh, duh, what was I doing? What was I thinking? As um, a couple of you so rightly said, or more than a couple of you, several of you rightly said, um, I actually need both inclines to be bi-directional. Um, and that was so right. So that means I need two sets of track down and two sets of track up. So I've had to quite dramatically change my plans on what I'm going to do. And I have come up with a solution. Okay. Um, so hopefully now in the top left hand corner you'll be able to see what I've done so far. I've taken the, the old incline out and uh, with some bits of plywood I've now sort of given myself a good um, backdrop to fit the incline to, okay? Um, so this goes all the way round the section of the garage where I'm going to put the two bi-directional inclines. Um, but then of course the most important thing is, is how do you work out what the slope is going to be? Um, so I did a little bit of research on the internet and I came up with a solution and I have pretty much got my inclines to be a 1 in 50 slope, which I am over the moon with. Um, and what I'm going to do in this video is show you how I came about to get those dimensions, okay? Um, because one of the other things I've sort of like missed showing you all or telling you all is the size of the garage or the size of the layout so what I'll be doing in a minute is uh, I'll be going through the calculations with you and included in that will be a rough hand-drawn diagram of the size of the garage and the dimensions of the garage so we can come up with the proper calculations all right um, but before I do that I have a giveaway yes the very first giveaway on the Western Centurion channel. It's not quite train related, but nevertheless, it's a giveaway. And that giveaway is this. It's an HP print cartridge that I brought in error. Okay, it is a 301XL tricolor, as you can see. Don't worry about the masking tape on there. That's just uh, where I I had to stick the protective film back on, but I brought this in error. I needed a 300 XL and I bought a 301 XL. So if anyone can use this, um, just message me or PM me and uh, I'll get this sent to you. All right, first come, first serve though. All right, so yes, what I'll do now is uh, we'll go through the dimensions of the garage and how I came up with the calculations for the inclines. Okay, so catch you again in a moment. Bye bye. 
Ah. And welcome back. Okay, so here is the plan of the garage. All right, so we have the garage walls along here. We've got the double doors this end, and we've got the single door and the window there. And here I've written out the dimensions. So the two longest walls are 21 feet each. Um, the section where the double doors is, is only 10 feet. And where the single door and the window is, is 12 feet. So already you can see it is an odd shape. Um, what I've drawn in here is where the fiddle yard will be going. So the dotted lines, this is the drop down sections. And the same again here, that's the drop down section. So where I want to fit the incline is along this wall, which is where we have the Four Seasons sign um, fitted. So we can have the two bi-directional inclines coming down here, and that's represented by these two blue lines. So how do we calculate what the slope will be to get us from here to there but also from there to here. So what do we need first to make those calculations? Well, I'll write on this chart for you, okay? Excuse my handwriting. But the first thing we need to know is the run, which is this. That will be the run or the length. So if we put run up here, and that equals, so we have 21 feet, along this section and eight feet down there. Now obviously that makes 29 feet, but at the moment I know I need to deduct two feet from this corner because the inclines will be going on a curve. Okay, so I'm going to deduct two feet. So that will give us 27. 27 feet, but I'm going to work in inches for this. Okay, so 27 feet is 324 inches. And yes, I haven't done that off the top of my head. I've already calculated, calculated that out previously. Right, the next thing we need is a rise. So that's the height from the bottom of the um, fiddle yard or the fiddle yard base to the top of the main baseboards, which I've already done and that is eight and a half inches. So we want rise, which equals 8.5 inches. All right, so now we should be able to calculate our grade from that, okay? Which will be um, in a, a percentage which is what we need to do first, all right? So the way we do that is to get the, um, the grade or gradient is to divide 8.5, 8.5 divide with a 324 inches. Okay, and I already know, um, sorry, no, 8.5 divided by 324 times 100. Now, that will give us 2.62% gradient, all right? Um, does that mean much to you? It didn't to me to start with. Now I wanted to get to the fact of what the, um, the degree of the, the rise was. So we have, if I do this, so that's our rise of 8.5 and that's our run of 3, 2, 4. Now I want to know what this is, which is our degrees. Now we already know it's going to be 
to set. But what's that going to be? Is it going to be like in 1 in 20, 1 in 30, 1 in 40, 1 in 50? Now that's the important bit for me, is to know what that's going to be. 2.62 I need because that helped me calculate whether that's going to be 1 in 40, 1 in 50, 1 in 60. Okay, etc, etc. So, to get to that point, we have to do some serious cal calculations. And I used a um, scientific calculator to do this. Now I used it on my, um, uh, I could do it on my, my phone, and I also did it on the computer. Now Windows 10 has got a calculator, and you set it to scientific um, calculations. Um, so hopefully, up in this top left hand corner, you'll see how I did it with the calculator. Okay, so to start with, what we need is, I go for degree, degrees. So, we need to take this result here, the 2.62, alright, then we divide that with 100, alright, and now as I already know because I've done it, that will leave us with 0 0.0262, and then what we need to do is to use a the tangent button on the calculator, so plus tan minus one. Okay, and then once you do that, we end up with the result of 1.50. So that is our one in 50 incline. So I now know this is one in 50. And that is pretty much what you want. Um, they say the minimum is 1 in 30. Um, 1 in 50 is a good incline to go with. <laughs> now I hope that's all made sense to you. Um, and hopefully the video of me doing the calculations at the top left hand corner has helped you. But yes, so this is what the two bi-directional inclines are going to be at. Now obviously, unfortunately here, I'm going to have curves, curves there, and then here, I've got to have curves that will come up. Hence why I did that two feet, because that's where the curves will start. Not here, because obviously you won't go anywhere. Um, thankfully at the top here, it's a nice straight up to where the drop down bits will be. Now, obviously in my, a few of my videos ago, I, when I built the first incline with just that single track on it as a test run, you could see that the, the locos are pulling quite well with certain amount of coaches. So what my next phase is to do is to actually build these inclines with the curves. Now that's this curve there is a fourth and that curve there is a third radius. Same here, that's a fourth, and that is a third. Um, so I believe this will be, if this is coming down, this is coming up, yeah, sorry, if this is coming up from Fiddle Yard, it's going this way. Okay. And back up onto the top level baseboards there. And this one will be going in the opposite direction. Back down to the fiddle yard. So then obviously I've now got to build another two. It'll be a lot closer, but I think we're talking of between the wall here and into here. I think that distance is going to be about eight inches again but that's the plan and I hope it makes sense to you I am um, in the um, the uh, description I'll put the link to a couple of calculators you can actually use online to get to those but to actually get the degrees you're going to need a proper scientific calculator you can get you 
both this websites on the internet that have them as well. But I'm pretty sure if you're running Windows, um, you'll have the calculator on there and that's how you can do it. Okay, so um, I'll leave you with that and uh, next weekend I will show you what I've done. <laughs> Alright, catch you later. Bye bye. It's me, I'm back. Um, I forgot a fundamentally important bit of information, and that is this 1.5 degree slope. Alright, now we get that from the 1 in 50 for the incline. Okay, the 1.5 degree slope for me was very important because um, that is how or that helped me mark out the slope all the way up where the, where the um, inclines will go. Now this is what I use, this is called a, um, a rafters angle okay and um, you have like a pivot point there and we have the degrees all down here and the one we want is right at the bottom at 1.5 so what I did, bear with me, had a piece of wood. All right, so I just took this, and we can see I've got some. I played about here at different angles or different degrees. So if we put this onto there and have the pivot, that section there, right at the bottom on the corner, we can then mark off where the 1.5 is there. So that line we see it going up here, the lower line, that is a 1.5 degree slope and that's how it starts off in the fiddle yard until it gets all the way up here up towards the top section so you see it's not that steep at all when you look at it on there is it but over um, 27 feet it rises up to nearly eight and a half inches okay so sorry just had to let you know that I can't believe I missed that bit bit out but um hey we'll make mistakes so catch you again soon i hope you look forward to the next update bye bye